Yes guys, Mr P here and in this video I'm counting down my ultimate top 10 primary school dinners. And if some of these did not feature in your daily diet as a child, did you even go to primary school in the UK? So let's get going with number 10. And in number 10, purely for balance of trying to get a healthy diet, we have got this combo, the ultimate veg package of sweet corn, peas and bits of carrot. It was just the standard side to most lunches. It was bland as anything, but you knew you were getting all the nutritional value you needed because technically it was three of your five a day. In at number nine, we've got the jacket potato. It's low on the list and in my opinion, deservedly so. It was never anyone's first choice and always an option. Now I've not got time to go into all the different types of fillings, but if you are interested, it was beans with cheese on top for me. Fair, I only really chose a jacket potato when there was nothing left or I felt like I needed to be healthy that day for some strange reason. However, I will say I did like the bottom of it, that hard bottom of the jacket potato, which I know some people don't like, but listen, I'm someone who likes the crusts with a loaf of bread. In at number eight, we've got fish fingers. And I've had to put these lower down the list purely because I've recently watched Sea Spiracy and it's made me question the role I've played over the past few years eating these bad boys in relation to basically ruining the planet. Seem to always be served on a Friday. When accompanied by chips and beans, it always made for a hearty lunchtime feast. In at number seven, we've got the unidentified meat pie. This one's for my northern brothers and sisters. Now, pies featured heavily in our school dinners, but that was all we knew. It was a meat pie. We don't know to this day what the meat actually was. I'm 13 years into teaching. I'm still not quite so sure, but I'm not complaining. Cut out in a little rectangle, scooped onto your plate, bisto on top, off you go sunshine. In at number six, we've got the classic cheese whirl, the veggie option. Well, the only veggie option it seemed back in the day, but it made for a decent substitute for those meat lovers. And if it wasn't presented in this form, you could also get it as a cheese flan. Never something you really look forward to, but decent nonetheless. In at number five, we've got the absolute classic sausage and mash, otherwise known as bangers and mash. Were the sausages more wrinkly and overcooked than my nan's fingers? Absolutely. Was the mash so suspiciously smooth that you actually questioned how much potato was in it? Sure. And was the mash always placed on your plate like a scoop of ice cream? Yeah, but am I complaining? Absolutely not. In at number four, we've got the turkey dinosaurs. Now, was Steven Spielberg inspired to create one of the biggest grossing films of all time, Jurassic Park, after tucking into a plate of these turkey dinosaurs? Well, no, but you can't tell me you won't turn these down. In at number three, we've got potato smileys. And yes, curly fries should be in the mix. But there was nothing that could turn your frown upside down like these bad boys. Picture the scene. You've just come into the dining room after spending some time in the playground. You feel like your life is ruined because you're out first in Bulldog. You spy out the corner of your eye, a tray these smiley faces, and suddenly life starts making sense once again. In at number two, we've got the turkey twizzler. You can never keep a good twizzler down. Back from the brink, this was a different level back in the day. Despite what Jamie Oliver was trying to do, it's come back because we all need that hit of nostalgia. Nothing tastes like the 90s, like an undercooked turkey twizzler. Good times. And my number one ultimate primary school dinner has to be school pizza. A masterpiece that I have tried my whole adult life to try and replicate, but to no avail. Was it the main reason why I chose a career in education so I can rekindle my love with school pizza? I'll leave that one up to you. But square pizza on the tray straight from the school oven was something else. But let's be clear, it had to be a middle piece. It can't be one round the edges, those middle pieces oozing with so much cheese that it gave you weird dreams for a week. Oh, take me back. And there we have it, a countdown of my top 10 primary school dinners. If you think I've missed one, let me know in the comments and stay tuned as I'll be next counting down the top 10 school dinner puddings. And if you've enjoyed that nostalgic look at a simpler time, make sure you pre-order our first ever book, put a wet paper towel on it, I put a link in the description and make sure you subscribe and listen to Two Mr. P's in a podcast.